Red carpet after red carpet being rolled out in the city of Toronto for the biggest film festival in the world. As I told you earlier today, the spotlight here at TIFF is on more than just movies. It's also about giving a voice to one of the biggest global campaigns that's really been catapulted onto the world stage by some of the biggest names in Hollywood. We're nearing the one-year anniversary of the Me Too campaign. This is a movement that called for more to be done in the wake of sexual violence, assault, and harassment allegations. Last year was also around the same time that leaders in Canada's film and TV industries, including ACTRA, the biggest union for actors here in Canada, banded together and vowed to make a change. We've been doing this for years. What's different now is that we have actually gathered the unions together and we have decided and we have said that our mantra and the things we fight for is diversity and inclusion, seeing more women of color, seeing more indigenous uh, writers, performers, seeing more LGBTQ plus trans. We need to reflect what our streets are and not just have, you know, films that that reflect a male point of view. We took and rebranded our emergency hotline to call it the sexual harassment emergency hotline. We have got uh, social workers answering those calls and triaging the help that the the caller needs 24 hours a day. We created an ad hoc sexual harassment committee, 38 women who have actually lived this reality, who inform us on all the issues, they have told us what would make you feel safer. And what impact has that had in the last year? How more have women what are changes? calling? More members are calling. Um, there's trust that's been built. We're working together. We now understand that when we're fighting for our voices, we're not anti-male. It's just... We're, we're, um, we're creating feminists out of our male partners, right? And seeing our diverse members stand up and go, we need to be in this discussion as well, and we are. An actress says they're also training more staff to take in these complaints. They've also enacted uh, more rules to protect members, and they say that the code of conduct is on more film sets than ever. They also tell me they're having daily meetings with leaders here in Canada as well as shareholders, and they say more of these initiatives will be coming out.